Hello everyone. So I hope you all are fine. So today we will be discussing about a very important concept from our voting systems that is totalizer machines. I know like some of you must have heard about this and other me read it in the newspapers or even in the news headlines. Okay, so what a totalizer machine is. Okay, so here in this figure, you can see there are multiple units which are shown. Okay, this is the balloting units in which you press the button. Here, this is VBPAT in which the results are shown. Like if you are pressing the button number N, so whether the N is displayed here or not. If it differs, that means your vote is not actually going to that particular party or that particular candidate. And then this is the control unit to control all these things. Then this is the EVM totalizer, which will not be in the polling station per se rather it will be utilized during the time of the results and this uh, and here there will be one more unit which is known as vstu or vvpad status display unit so all these can be actually seen in the next figure so here this is vvpad and this is our balloting unit so this is our balloting unit and this unit here is the control unit and this is vstu which is vvpad status display unit so both of these remains with the presiding officer and these two means the balloting unit as well as the vvpad these remains with the polling compartment means you can see all both of these okay now let us move back to our main topic. What is a totalizer machines? So suppose we have a handful of voters for a particular polling booth, okay, or even just a single voter. So what may happen is that after the results, the polling booth results may come like this booth has uh, voted for that particular party. So in that case, there may be the chances of pre-poll intimidation or the post-poll harassment. So just to get rid of that, so the Election Commission of India came with this novel idea to maintain the secrecy and security of the voters that all the votes from 14 poll booths will be mixed and will be anonymized so that we won't be able to find out the voting pattern. And that's how the security of the voters will be checked. And this was the main use of totalizer machine that it actually takes the votes of around 14 booths mixes them and anonymize them and it was made by the bharat electronics limited in collaboration with the election commission of india and the government is having certain apprehension that it may cause the poll data outflows or the leakage of poll data okay and it is proposed by election commission of india and as I told you that it was actually proposed first in the 2008 by election commission and later it was also proposed by the Law Commission of India. And even the political parties, means the opposition political parties are claiming that we should have this for a level playing field. And even the Association for Democratic Reforms and other uh, NGOs are also mm. voting in favor of this. Okay, so we all know that under the article 324 of the indian constitution the election commission of india is having certain duty like maintaining a uh, maintaining a fair playing field for all the political parties however when we look at the data uh, Okay, of the poll bonds, we can see that nearly 48% of the poll bonds went to just a single political party. So what does it suggest? So there may be certain instances of the government corporate nexus. Okay, that means that the government is in hands and means hands in glove with the corporates and is allowing the corporates to do whatever they want to by getting some money from them. Okay. And what other thing that is happening is that uh, the executives means the government is actually using or even misusing the bodies like elect, uh, like the enforcement directorate and the CBI against the against the uh, opposition political party candidates. So that's how it is happening. So will we ever be able to have? a level playing field in that case? So whenever you are going for voting, so just keep in mind like whether we want to save our democracy or not so vote wisely vote to the candidate and not to the political parties thank you very much guys